Morning everyone, a uh, bit of Monday motivation for you with hat, with new hat, with gilet. Um, obviously been a bit of a funny week for me, those of you who know me um, know that my mother passed away uh, last week. Um, uh, so it's been an interesting, it's been an interesting week, it's the first time personally that I've experienced uh, that sort of loss um, so close to me. So it was, it's been an interesting experience and it's it, it's funny how these things affect you and or how you think they're going to affect you uh, when they come along. So um, I think the lessons, are th what I try and do is allow myself to um, use what happens to me to help me to inspire and help me to use it as a message. I think we're very much, in, we live in a world where um, we get told to do a lot of things like, oh, you should feel this way, you should feel that way, you need your time to do this, you need time to do that, and that's all okay. And sometimes I think we've, you know, people who care about us a lot will do that, and that's perfectly fine. But I think what times like this teach me, and, and, and I will let you know today, is that it's about finding yourself and how you cope with things and saying to yourself, actually, well, how am I going to let something that happens to me define me um, or label me? So, for example, um, for me personally, the way I deal with things is, well, let's see who needs help. Um, let's see what we can do practically. And let's have the moments that... Um, make you fragile, make you vulnerable, be upset, but then take what's happened and then use it and say, well, okay, well, how do I use this and how, how do I invest it? I mean, literally, some fucking people will think the world's ended when they've stubbed their fucking toe in the morning. So it's like, well, you know, what are you going to do when the real problems come? I've talked about that before, but for today, what I'm going to talk about is using that. So use that sort of, that pain or that heartache or that hurt or whatever those disappointments are to fire you on. Um, and just cut the shit and cut the excuses. I think when you look at, particularly death, and you and you, and you you experience it for the first time in someone that you love, and you stare into the eyes of somebody that's dying, what you tend to see is you tend to then see, or think, actually, what the fuck are we, what are we messing around, what are you messing around at if you're making excuses about your health, if you're making excuses about your dreams, if you're making excuses about the things you want to do in your life, what fucking, what, what else is there when you're looking into the eyes of someone who's, who's dying, and uh, and seeing that, it sort of recharges your perspective on things a little bit. Not to be sad, not to have regrets, not to wish that things could have been different. So I say, well, what can I now do then to deliver my message to the world? So I am remembered. So when that happens to me, when somebody looks in my eyes when I'm dying, you know, they look at me and they say, yeah, I did the same message. I inspired them to go out and do the same. So today's message is really about using that to cut the bullshit and cut the fucking shit and the excuses that are stopping you from, from being whoever you want to be. I mean, I talked about this last week, so I'm not going to apologise for repeating the message, but it sort of brought it home that we get caught up in this media-driven fucking nonsense, 90-mile-an-hour killer winds. We've survived fucking ice ages, for fuck's sake, really? And you're going to believe the fucking daily star of the sun come on let's pick ourselves up a little bit let's use what happens to us and let's have a really really good week and let's go out and start doing some things and let's just cut the nonsense and cut the rubbish that stops us being whoever we want to be because it's time to, to do something now it's time to act it's time to get out and make some commitments and just stop with the whiny bo bollocks all the time because you know when you see that it, you kind of think well do you know what that's taught me a lot of a big lesson about myself so I've had some time uh, over the last few days just to reflect on things and to refocus. And I've needed a bit of a break, of course, just to process things and make sure that everyone's okay. That includes today. So, yeah, so that's the message for today then, folks. Go out now and let's start making some commitments and let's start delivering and stop talking. Um, and let's remember that that loss can happen to anybody at any point. You've got to be prepared for it. Um, and that's just me being honest. And that's the truth. If you want more honesty, you Birmingham-based guys, uh, I'll put the link in the bottom as well. Don't forget, Wednesday, 7.30 in Edge Baston, Walker Memorial Hall. I'm doing my first weight loss seminar talk. I did a, a sort of a mini one on Friday. Uh, went really, really well. The girls left for some great insights into, this, um, into sort of common sense approaches to health and fitness. Uh, don't... Um, if you're a sensitive type, don't come. Uh, if you're gonna, if you want to have a chat or share some opinions, brilliant. Please come along. Uh, I love, I love to have intelligent debate. So yeah, we're going to talk honestly, we're going to talk practical tips, uh, we're going to talk from people who've done it, not people who think they've done it or wish they've done it, people who've kept the weight off like myself, uh, so please feel free to come along, uh, totally free, I look forward to seeing you there, any questions, as usual, contact me on Facebook, see you soon.